got Michigan State coming up in a uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, cool. What's your early on feeling about that uh, about that game? Man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I I don't. I, I right now, if I had, I, I'll go fifty. It's a fifty fifty toss up, and I think that's a cop out. I just like I, I think really. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I I think as confident and good as I feel about my team and we feel about Michigan, you gotta give MSU credit, man. Um, you know, I mean, like I I read off through they they are. So they are 36 in the country in passing yards. They are 22nd in rushing yards. They are fourth in sacks. They are 26 in interceptions forced. I mean, they're 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 in a tough. Like, and 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 mind you, these are stat. A lot of these team stats, Michigan's not even nowhere close to them. I mean, I think the only one that Michigan's ahead of them, actually, I know this for a fact, is rushing yards. Other than that, MSU is ahead of Michigan there. So I mean I don't like saying that I feel sick saying that, but it's the truth, yeah. you know. Um, and you, you got to give them their credit. And, and we're at East Lansing too. Um, it's going to be a, a a a crazy crowd. Even though, even though I know Michigan's going to be sprinkled, fans are going to be sprinkled in there as well. It's going to be tough, man. And and you know one thing, the Spartans are not going to just let us walk in there and take their lunch money. You know it's going to be a dog fight. Um, and you know it's just it's it's just one of both teams do things well. Um, I, I think MSU has proven they are a little bit more dynamic. <laughs> I use that word dynamic a lot, but more dynamic, especially on offense. You know, with Jalen Reed and Peyton, the Peyton Thor, uh, Thorne and Jalen Reed connection has been fantastic. Kendall Walker the third has been, I think, a Heisman Trophy candidate. Um, he's been fantastic. You know, their defense creates, uh, you know, pressure in the backfield, obviously. You know, they do a lot of things, ex- some, a lot of explosive things well, and Michigan's more steady Eddie. So seeing those two dynamics come together, uh, Two different uh, 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 styles come together on the field, and then you got the rivalry, and then both teams are really good. It's just hard for me to go in there with a lot of confidence and say, yeah, we're going to get this victory. No, I think it's going to be a toss-up, and I think it's going to be a dogfight. Yeah, it'll be – it's it's going to be exciting. I, I'm not sure – well, we'll end up giving a prediction on that because we just have to. Uh, but I, I'm not sold on giving it right now, but it's uh, – man – It'll be it'll be interesting. I think it'll be uh, a physical game. I, I think it's really going to be a battle of the of the quarterbacks. You know, really, who who can be more effective and explosive? You know, with the football. Um, so we'll see. I think we're pretty much in lockstep that Michigan's going to win big next week against Northwestern. Um, and really, this is one to to kind of roll out like, hey, let's uh, let's let's really let's fling it around a little bit. Let's win the game. Let's get out of here healthy and let's get ready for Michigan State. See, but I give, you know, getting out, and all, here's another dynamic, uh, a, a, another little thing to think about as well is that MSU is going to have a bye week weekend before. that The weekend that we play Northwestern, MSU has a bye week. So they're going to essentially have no. two weeks to prepare for the uh, game. I thought Michigan State played uh, Indiana this weekend. No. So yes, but so MSU plays this weekend, but they have a oh, bye so you said Michigan has weekend. a bye. No, I'm saying MSU is going to have a bye. They're coming off a bye when we we're going to play. When we're, when oh, we play I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. They're going to have two like, weeks. Am I losing it? Okay. Two full weeks to prepare for that game. So that's another aspect to go into it. You know, I mean, it's look. I'm looking at the comments now, guys. Look, it, it, it doesn't seem. And that's why you got to give Mel Tucker a lot of credit. It doesn't seem feasible for a guy in his second year. Really, really, his first full off season at, at, at his university, as bad as MSU was and the state, the program they were, to have a turnaround. But it's real, and just like us, no, they haven't really beaten anyone, but we really haven't either. In terms of where the, the, those teams are right now, <clears throat> so you gotta give them their credit, uh, you know. Um, and you, we cannot take them lightly. You know, that's one thing that we need to we need to change. You know, we we did. Uh, and the Mark D'Antonio days is that Michigan took MSU lightly. And every time we'll meet on Saturdays, they'll punch us in the mouth. They were the more mentally tough team. We cannot have that mentality anymore. You know, this that that team is is they have a lot of transfers, but they they have a cohesive unit. Um, they play for Mel Tucker and they are explosive. Um, they're they're this is a different MSU team, uh, at least in terms of style, uh, than it was on a Mark D'Antonio. Mark D'Antonio was trestle ball. Right, um, you know, control the uh, time of possession. Um, it didn't have a physical defense. This MSU team is like they're they're trying to pull up points, man. 
So mm-hmm. like, don't don't. And and they can too. They and they can. can. So like, it, it's you gotta give them their respect. Um, and we're at, we're in their barn. <laughs> Janet says the battle of Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> There's no <laughs> more respect. Oh, no respect. Uh, we need to figure out something for that for that game. I don't know if you have something planned uh, for the the Michigan Michigan State, but we should oh. figure out Always something. Down, man. Always um, down, man. It, it, it's it's going to be fun, man. It, it's going to be. I mean, look, you're going to have to give me like a little, uh, gar, a little, uh, what's the little bag where people breathe in, <laughs> you know, because barf bag. It, little bar bag, you know, because I think it's going to be that kind of game. I think it's going to be an emotional roller coaster, um, you know. And I, I see people say I fear OSU and, and MSU. Well, no, I think Janet said fearing OSU and PSU, but not MSU. I think they're all in the same boat. I mean, now I'm not saying they're the exact same team, but. They're, they they all do things well, and they, they should be respected, you know, as they are. You just – you got to. You got to give it up to them, you know, as much I'd as you don't you want should, to. I'd say you should fear Michigan State because they're the, the next closest game on the schedule. I think – They're the said, best we'll be team by far we, we've Northwest played on our schedule. Best team oh, yeah, by at far. at that time. Yep. And then you after know. that, it'll be, you know, whoever's next. Uh, right. But it, it just – yeah, it, it'll be – It'll be interesting, man. It'll be interesting. Uh, Deep Brown says Sparty's best players. Wake Forest transfer. Transfer. Guys, I'm telling you, man. Stop. Stop it. Like, you, you're setting yourself up. I'm not trying to protect my heart if you think that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm, I really do respect MSU. And I don't oh, like yeah. it. As, as you should. I mean, they're, you what, know, like, top don't 10 in the country? Don't set yourself up for a heartbreak on that Saturday. Because, I mean, look, as good as we're playing, there's a chance uh, we can go into that game and we're like, we just lost to Mel Tucker two years in a row. That 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 is. I'm not saying fear anyone. I'm saying respect. There's a yeah. difference. Yeah. Uh, the best believe we going in there. I don't care if they're the Spartans. We're going there with our shields and spears, and we're going there to take their field, and we're going to take their juice like we've been doing the last few weeks. If you notice, the two we do like we do the whole take the juice of the last few, uh, few uh, away games, whatever little shtick uh, those teams have or jump around or. Oh yeah. Uh, and I think it was Thunderstruck that Nebraska was doing. We got our players doing it. We're going to go in there with that mentality. That don't mean that we're not going to come out, that we will come out victorious. So just be careful, have respect for them, and, you know, just, you know, we'll gloat after the game. But I can't do much gloating before. Don't yeah. do too much well, gloating Well, and before. it'll be, I think I want to say, I think they've they've said that that'll be a noon game, I believe. Yeah, it's because people don't know how to act. You know, like, I would love that to be a night game, but you're talking about a full day of tailgating and that kind of hype game as well. You know, MSU and Michigan fans, even though I do think MSU fans are the worst. Well, no, no actually, Ohio State fans are the worst than MSU. Ohio, nothing's worse than Ohio State fan. But then <laughs> MSU fans, too, are bad. You know, and then we're there, and that's just not a, a recipe for, you know, people not acting like fools. 